In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from a very underexposed photo from this to this, one of my favorite photo in galleries right now. My name is Serge Romani. I am from the amazing city of Paris, France. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. And my work is in 120 galleries around the world. I've published seven coffee table books. I'm about to do book number eight, and I'm the official photographer of the city of Las Vegas. And I love sharing all my tricks and all my secrets. In this video, I share a lot. So stay till the end. Okay, so on this photo, what I can do is I can use one of my AI presets, which you can get for free on this video, like for example, AI Blue Hour, and I'm done. Now, I don't want to do that. I want to show you how I got there because my AI preset took me years to develop and they have like so many local adjustments and, and so many things going on. I want to break it down for you, but if you're, you just want one click, you can get them for free. Just make sure you watch the video on how to install them. So here I am. What I'm going to do, and I always do that. Now, this was a mistake. This photo, check this out, 800 ISO F4. I didn't have a tripod. So when I don't have a tripod, I open as much as I can, 125th of a second. So that's what I could do with that camera. That was a GFX 100S, like one of the, it's a medium format camera. F4, that was the most open I could be. And so I had no choice to get 800 ISO. And even that, I am underexposed. But check this out. If you open the shadow, you start seeing something. Okay. Then... I don't bring in the highlights on this one. What I do though, is I check the black point. Now that's very important. I love to have a good, nice black point. So how do I, what you do is you take the option key, if you're on a Mac or the alt key on Windows, and then you go like this. And what you want to see, like the yellow, the red is like about 1% black. But here's the master streak. I'm going to use the white to reveal the photo. Check this out. The, the white is the white is going to reveal a lot of photo. And in this case, the exposure is going to reveal a lot of photo. Now, this is a very powerful camera. Look at this. Even at 800 ISO, there's hardly any noise, although it was very underexposed. Now, that's the first step, but the white balance is kind of off. You see, the preset did a much better result. So usually what I do at this point, when I got a good exposure, maybe I lower a little bit the highlights. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lowering the highlights actually does help a lot here. Uh, and then I can boost the whites even more. It brings the sky down, which I really like. Okay. And then on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess around. So the first step always of the natural drama phone, which my preset, the AI preset respect is one exposure. Number two is white balance. Okay. Let's look at daylight. Daylight is okay on this. And every brand is going to have a different white balance. Uh, cloudy. Mm, I kind of like cloudy, but you see, we're losing the blue in the sky, but cloudy is kind of cool. And then shade, let's see shade. Ooh, I kind of like shade, but we lost the blue. You know what, let's go for shade, but let, let's add a little bit of magenta because I want to kill a little bit uh, the green that's in the yellow lamp. So that's, and again, if you use the preset, it's just one click, but you know, some people don't like preset. They like to deconstruct and understand. So I'm trying to teach you here. Okay, so the second thing that I do is the third step. So we did, do, we did the exposure, we did the white balance. The third step I always do is colors. Now, when I have a Fuji camera, I love Fuji for this. I'm actually gonna buy probably the 100 RF from Fuji coming up soon. Uh, I wanna, I just love their medium format camera. I have so many cameras. I shoot Sony, I shoot, uh, I shoot, well, I shoot Canon actually, but I shoot mostly Sony, Leica, and a little bit of Fuji because I'm, I'm about to go and do my book in London. So what I do on Fuji is I go to the, um, I go to the camera matching and I usually, I, I'm in love with their Velvia preset. Look at that. It just gives a very warm color. Now, sometimes it's too much. What I do is I bring down the, the blue. But now I like the colors. You see, that was step number three. Maybe it's even too much. Maybe I'm just going to lower the vibrance. It's just a little too much, but oh, I love it, you know, and just play around with this. I love their profile. The Pro Fuji is the only brand that I know that have all this awesome profile. I always use Velvia or Provia. And then if I, if I have a Sony camera, I just use the one from Adobe. You know, I just go here and I use like... Uh, I go here and I use the Adobe one, like Adobe Vivid, for example, this one big one, which in this one can work, but like I think Provia on this one just makes the, the, the warm richer. Okay, now I think I want to make this photo straight also. So the step number four is the dodge and burn. That's my next step. So on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a gradient. And again, if you use the preset, you don't have to do that. By the way, if you want to become an award-winning photographer or get published, just be super proud of your work. I have something called the Institute of Photography. Um, 
I would love to review your work. Actually, you can book a call with me and my team. The link is under this video. I'd love to talk to you and see your work. Anyway, so dodge and burn. It means darkening or brightening the photo. So on this one, I'm just going to lower the exposure a little bit because I want people to look inside of the photo. And so by darkening this, it's kind of cool. And then the sky is way too bright for me. So I'm going to show you a really cool trick that a lot of people don't know. I'm going to add a gradient here on the sky, lower the exposure. But you see, now it lowered the exposure here and here on that building. I don't necessarily want that. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to three dots, intersect mask with sky. I repeat, three dots, intersect mask with sky. Check this out. Look at this. Are you ready? Boom. What that's doing is only making the sky darker and not the building, which is what I want. So that was that's the only, sometimes what I do in it, don't tell that to anybody, is I add a little bit of a glow, but that's really confidential and that stays between you and me. But that's what got me picked up in galleries. And it's very subtle. So what I do is, you see, the human eye goes to the brighter spot of the photo. So I always add a bit of a bright spot in the middle. So I take a circle and I make a bright spot, but you see it's too bright. But I do the same trick, three dots, intersect mask with sky. And now that is gonna go under. Check this out and it, look what it does. It just makes a little bright spot right under the church here. And look, bef before, after. Very subtle, but I love it. And that's my dodge and burn. The last step that I usually do is I do the sharpening if I wanna print it. I love printing photos like this or noise reduction. Look at this, it's not noisy at all. It was, was, it was underexposed and I don't, it's it's really good. So what I do on this one, and a lot, I see a lot of people don't do that, please. You can like boost clarity and boost texture and then boost, you know, uh, and go down here and boost the um, the sharpening. Like, and you get this over sharpened photo. No, 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 no. What I do is I do the opposite. I actually put my clarity like almost minus. I don't use the texture at all. But here's what I do. I do two things. That photo is a little grainy, so I'm going to get the luminance to go like at about 15. Or if I want to really print this photo, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to right click. I'm going to go to Enhance because it was shot at 800 ISO. And Enhance has this new incredible feature where it takes the noise in the raw file itself. Now, 50 is over killing for this photo because, I mean, look at that. It's pretty noisy. I'm thinking I'm going to go to like maybe like 30. On hands. And what that's going to do, it's going to create a new DNG file and it's going to take out all the noise. And you're going to get a very clear result. I like to make big prints, big prints. And big prints, you don't want to have any noise. Make sure you download the preset and book a call with me so I can review your work. All the links are under this video. So check this out. Look at the difference. I'm going to, I'm going to take both photos next to each other. Uh, press C for the compare mode, go full screen and check this out. And I don't know if you can tell, but you, yeah, I don't think you'll be able to see it. it the, the sky is a little bit grainy, but here is there's absolutely no, if it was like it was shot at a hundred ISO, it's beautiful. But now what I do to make it a little more sharp, now that I've taken care of the noise, I do the sharpening. Yeah, I put sharpening pretty high, like 120, 110, sometime 100. And then I do the masking. That's very important. The masking is you take, you hold on the option key on the Mac or the, Alt key on Windows and you go right. And only where there is white, you want sharpening to happen. So only where there is white, you want sharpening to happen. And that's good. And last but not least, and again, please keep this for yourself. This is like, I'm revealing stuff like, my work is in 120 galleries around the world. Like, and I've published seven coffee table books and I'm the official photographer of Las Vegas. I'm giving you all my tricks here. And then I'm gonna go here, take a brush. And because I see a lot of people like over sharpening the photo. I understand you want things. What I do is this, I take a brush, I had a bit of clarity and a bit of sharpness. And then I just take a big brush and I add clarity and sharpness just here in the middle of the photo and not, not in the sky. And that's the last step of my natural drama. But again, look at this. So uh, I'm gonna reset this. Look at this, one one preset, that my AI blue hour preset, I think that's the one, or the golden hour, no, the AI blue hour. Like one click, look look how close we are. It's not as good as this, but it's a great starting point. So make sure you get the preset and let's talk. I want to see your photography. Link is under this video, bam.